pan. We're about to put it into the oven. It should take about an hour. Depending on the size of the ham, you will generally probably like half an hour per, per kilogram or two and a half pounds. So this is a five pound ham. We're about to put him in for about an hour. When I hear her calling, it was never her bread. She called me over early six times. So now that we have the ham in the oven, what's ham without chow chow? So we're about to make my spicy chow chow. What makes my chow chow unique is that I use my pepper chunks, which is infused with all the natural home seasonings that you use in your kitchen. Bringing that homemade flavor to the chow chow. So usually you use any blend of vegetables. So today we'll be using broccoli, some cauliflower, we have some Christophine, some medium carrots, our sweet peppers, and don't forget some onions. The broccoli adds color, it enhances the flavor. It looks beautiful when you take out a piece of chow chow and you just have these lovely florets looking at you. The texture doesn't change much, it just softens up in the chow chow. But because they're both water fruits, they absorb as well. Because what you want with the chow chow is that the flavors absorb into the pieces of fruit and vegetables. The carrots add color. The Christophine, the cauliflower, the broccoli, pulls the flavors so we bite into the flavors of it. Now because Christophine and sweet pepper can have water bits, you don't want to get them, to get them too mushy if you chop it. So you want to see the pieces. So what we're doing now is actually blanching the vegetables for about 10 minutes. And just simply putting them in some boiling hot water with some salt to soften them up. When blanching vegetables, you really don't want to leave it for more than 10 minutes because the water temperature drops and it's ineffective basically. My pepper chunks are infused with all the spices and things that you use in your kitchen. Bring by that homemade flavor, that homemade taste. You can simmer it as it's simmering in the mix here. We're about to add the vegetables now. You have to keep stirring because you don't want it clumping. The veggies are already been blanched, so it doesn't take more than five minutes to it. You can smell the flavors coming out from this, and we're adding the veggies. Stirring while we're adding it. So the mixer is enough to cover the veggies. We keep stirring for about three more minutes because we want to be able to bite into the, chum the chunky pieces of the vegetables and the chow chow. So we don't want them to get too soft because they'll just be bland. So there you have it. Already to be bottled. We have already sterilized some bottles. So what you want to do is a heat process. So you want to put it in as, as it comes off the stove into the bottles and see the bottles. And there you have your chow chow. Mm. You see just the right amount of pepper, the right amount of salt. It's good to go. So you're about to bottle now. So as long as you sterilize your bottles, you can probably use any bottles you have at home. Because you want to keep it nice and fresh. So now we've seen the 
that went into making candy chow chow. It's time to eat. Let's dig in. Mm. So we're here at Bakery Treats on the Rodney Road in Chaguanas. We're doing our tasting. Our product is available here at Bakery Treats thanks to Miss Michelle Sohan, the director or managing director of Bakery Treats. I did meet Miss Candice Hart along with several other very nice entrepreneurs and I thought it was a very good idea if I can use my facility to help showcase their work. Candice being the first to have sampled her products last week, we had an overwhelming response. The customers enjoyed her chow chow, her pepper sauce, her salsas. We are actually now carrying it in the bakery to cater for those who want a second run. But I personally think that Trinidadians need to realize that we are not crabs in a barrel and we don't have to behave like that. We need to support each other. It is very hard for people like myself who started from scratch with no resources to have a dream and make something into it. And when I see people who have now started, I've been there, I'm still going along the process. There's still many things that I would like to do, but I'm limited. But if I can help other people move along, you know, I'm very happy to do it. And I'm hoping that this will be a continued effort. I have invited all the members of the entrepreneurs to come in and do their sampling. We have a good clientele base and they're very appreciative of good quality products. Our product is also available at ANR Supermarket in Sandy Grandi, Economy Supermarket in Sandy Grandi as well. Rodney Supermarket in Arima, and here at Baker Treats in Chibonas. Anything they bring out, they 